All right, everyone, welcome back to the historic Auto Club Speedway here in California. We're ready to go racing in the Triple A 400 here at Auto Club Speedway. Let's get ready to go racing! All right, everyone, we're about to go racing here at Historic Auto Club Speedway. Bobby Carter just isn't looking himself. BJ McLeod didn't have a good practice, and Denny Hamlin is your pole winner here out in California. Let's get ready to go racing in the NASCAR Cup Series. All right, guys, you got to see it there. We got the beautiful Mac Tools Florida Racing Mustang on track today. Let's get ready to go racing here. We got ourselves. How many laps? 26 laps on this track. We got ourselves 11 laps of fuel. So that's going to equal out to at least two and maybe a half pit stops here. We're going to try and not wreck anybody on the first lap if we can help it. I'm also going to try and use that super speedway draft to try and get ourselves places here. Ooh, that's a lot of speed that we got up there on the back stretch. Love it. Definitely drives a lot like Michigan in this game. Definitely a lot of fun. And by the way, if I hadn't mentioned it, thank you for coming on to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and watching NASCAR Heat 5 Florida Racing as we try to get ourselves a Cup Series championship. And we're going to have to uh, pause here for station identification while we get our controller plugged in before it dies. So we'll bring it back here in just a second. Ah, Jersey Mike's. I know that place. Overpriced subs or food and... Didn't taste that great. I'm gonna spend money on food nowadays. Try Firehouse Subs. That's a good sandwich place, honestly. Panera is pretty good too, honestly. Especially if you get soup to dip your grilled cheese into, but... Uh, I'd probably go with either Firehouse Subs or uh, you could just go with Subway, actually. Subway kind of works. You also make cool paint schemes, if you remember that. Anyway, so we're back racing here. So uh, no stages, just straight racing. I forget what I have the uh, race length setting on. It seems like it's probably like 25%. Maybe it's 13%. It's one of those. But either way, no stages. So we're not getting any stage points. It is just racing all the way to the checkered with green flag pit stop so in case there's just a lot of cautions but it ends up leading us to pitting but you get the point so that's what we're doing and there is no playoff system here it is just all the way to the end who has the most points that's who wins and so i thought that was kind of a cool idea when i started it seems like it is got a long way to go uh race length wise but should be a lot of fun so not sure when I'm going to bring back the F1 series, kind of taking a break from that as per usual in the first part of the year, and then end up bringing it back just a little bit later. But uh, definitely enjoy that series as well. Let me know what you guys think of the F1 series. Definitely like that one. We've got our, uh, our fellow driver Mick Schumacher returning, so that's going to be fun to have. Little shoe. Let's uh, focus on what we're doing here in the race. Got into Ryan Newman there a little bit. Kind of want to be polite to him if we can be. So don't overly really like hitting him too much. We got seven laps of fuel remaining currently. Fuel kind of got spread out there and we're kind of further to the back. Car is a little bit on the loose side. To some extent it almost wanted to be a little bit more looser if there was more banking. If there's more banking in these corners wouldn't mind having just a little bit looser of a car because that allows us to kind of drift the corner which really does get your nose pointed in the right direction and you can really kind of make up a lot of speed while doing that and uh, honestly looking at the uh, tire wear you can see that we got a pretty even amount of wear going on there since we got uh, both the right tires in the 60s so pretty even overall so that's nice to see nice to see that we're not burning that right front off into oblivion we're gonna burn it off a little bit right here but still uh, the right uh, rear is doing a lot of the work on this track which I really do like to have for uh, the intermediates if I can get it sometimes you can't with the setup but if you can having the uh, right rear doing all the work or the majority of the work really does help and it's it's doing a really good job We're getting some nice even wear there and really getting some good uh, 
good speed and feel to the car. As I said, a little bit loose. It does feel like it could come around ever so slightly, but it definitely doesn't feel as loose as uh, our car at Phoenix was. That was that was a terrible setup. We had to tighten that thing up, and then once we tightened it up, it didn't end up very well. So, but one thing I forgot about was how big this track felt. And honestly, I really don't know why NASCAR got rid of this track, really. I mean, one, there's so much potential to the track. I mean, road course options. You got to uh, turn this into a super speedway option. Going to put Brian Blaney in the wall there a little bit as he hang, hung onto my tail there for a bit too long. But there was definitely a lot of, uh, definitely a lot of options. I mean, with how much property they had, they could have put a short track inside of this track. I mean, I don't see what, what they were thinking about just destroying the whole thing, but money talks, I get that. But then also thinking about the historical significance of the track. Um, a lot of movies shot here. You had Ford versus Ferrari. They were shot on the uh, road course portion of this track. Uh, can't remember any more off the top of my head at the moment, but I know that there's at least a few... I think there was a Herbie movie. Yeah, Herbie Fully loaded? Maybe? I don't remember what that one was. Whatever the Herbie movie was, they shot that on this track as well. That was during the Next Door Cup era. And seems like there was some other stuff shot on this track as well. Currently, I don't remember too well what of the movies were shot here, but I know there's quite a few. So it's definitely kind of a bummer that the track isn't coming back and uh, is currently gone so definitely a lot of historical significance to the track and we need to come and hit pit road here thanks for the cue there to all the other guys slowly coming in trying not to get wrecked here there we go it's getting wrecked by uh, Brad Kozlowski there just a bit we're gonna leave it where it is the, the feel of the car feels really really good ooh we got somebody smoking there that could potentially bring out a caution which that could mess up uh, strategy here depending on how that goes but yeah decided to pit with this group kinda needed to I don't think we were speeding so we should be good on that let's see here oh come on guys 15 seconds stop come on usually you guys can do 15 what are you doing All right move 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 but there you go the Mac tools car nice shot of it there really glad to have them on board we also got uh, Shiner's Hospital for children on board the, with the car as well. And we are back racing, so currently in fifth. Got to get up the speed here onto the track. And uh, we're going to try and do some blocking here and hopefully be able to maintain. Sixth, not too bad, honestly. So pretty good on the... Uh, going to get a push here from Montreux. Don't mind if we do. Got cut push up there leading the way here currently so interesting how that all kind of cycled through my jerks he's gonna have some faster tires for the moment he's up to temp and everything and we're gonna try and latch on to him from behind here and try to just draft with him keep up the speed actually got some pretty good speed gonna go under it here off throttle back into the turn and we're actually gonna get past him watch his nose got him Nice, and he's going to give us a bit of a push down the back stretch here. And that's going to get us some speed. Thank you, sir. You're having a pretty good race this year. I'm going to try and not and uh, not this year, this race. <laughs> Last two races have not been good for this man. Not good at all. Uh, but so far, uh, he's doing pretty good up here in, I think he's seventh. Yep, he's in seventh. Very good. I had to double check there for just a second because I was like, hmm... I don't know if he's on the lead lap or not, actually. So good to check on that one. But yeah, currently he is in seventh position. So good day for him so far as we're riding up the track here. Field getting spread out. That definitely doesn't help us right now, especially since everyone else has some really good... Uh... Actually, no, they're kind of spread apart too, so not really much of a drafting help up there either. We're going to have to watch and see how the fuel mileage game works because technically we could have gone for another lap I think around this place and would have been fine but just kind of wanted to pit with people see how that worked and we got there cleanly so that kind of ended up working out for us 
decently, all things considered, so got to pay attention to that, though. And tires, we're in really, really good. like how much speed we have. The car feels nice. As I said, a little bit on the loose side, but still nice and stable through the turns so far. Haven't had an issue with it at all. So a little bit loose right there, but able to get the car to point in the direction that I want it. Maintain some good speed, so I really don't have a problem with the car right now. So that is certainly nice. Alright, 13 laps remaining. Very cool. Riding up the track here just a bit. And we got a car. Please don't. Thank you. Did not hit that car. We got 13 laps remaining. 7 laps of fuel. We're going to go ahead and come down and pit. We're going to take one can. And we're going to do the tires. Let's see. Ooh, that gained us a position. So we should be good to the end of the race. So who do we got? We got uh, FedEx Man. We got uh, Kurt Busch, we got uh, Matt Kenseth up here, Ryan Newman up here too, hello sir. And we got uh, Bowman up here racing, 10 laps remaining, 11 laps of fuel. Should be able to make it all the way to the end. We're going to have to watch out for that though and see how this goes. And we definitely don't have to show this guy any favors whatsoever. Because uh, if it's his year, he should be able to get it done. And I'm going to tell you right now. It's not his year. It's mine. All mine. Let Kurt Busch get to him. We're going to go underneath. Try not to get stuck under that white line. Going to shove him up the track there. That's going to let uh, his teammate Truex get past him. Very nice. Send him backwards. Definitely like how that looks. Got Ryan Newman back there doing pretty good. It is really cool how bumpy this track is. And how that does affect the handling of your car. So tires a little bit on the chill side, so we're riding up the Ooh, there we go. We got wrecking happening still up there. I think somebody's broke. Nope, we got it uh, figured out there. We got damage though. Still trying to get back into this thing here. Trying to get to the bottom. Try and get some clean speed. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We were up there in the front, but we were leading one. We've been in dirty air all day, and that was the first time we've been in open air. So that was not uh, that wasn't something we were prepared for at speed. Plus, our tires were still cold from switching over, so we didn't quite have enough enough grip as I had thought. And thirdly, driver error for simply not. Uh, paying attention and driving accordingly so all that so anyways now we're back in it we're in 20th we got uh, quite a few laps to actually work on and make up some ground here definitely not where we want it to be but uh, we should be able to make it and also depends on how much fuel everybody else took will everyone else have enough fuel to make it to the end because that was a pretty tight window because everyone with two goodbye Kenza Ready to go. Oh, he's flipping around on the turn there. Nothing. And no caution. So that's that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes perfect sense, right? Yep. That's what I thought. Alright. Trying to get the car to turn around here. There we go. Getting some help from the 96 right now. Getting a nice push. I'm going to try and get up to these guys here. Some Atkins have ended up... I'm not sure what happened there, but... Spun and the... What's your... Once you're there, there's not really anywhere else to go. You just have to keep riding it and hope that he gets out of your way. And luckily he did, but that kind of ruined our uh, speed. Also ruined his race. So we got that Bowman up there. That seems like that's a different name. And now Caution is out. What should we do? Six laps remaining, six laps of fuel remaining. We're going to stay out. We got damage though. I don't like it, but we made up 12 spots, so I'm not going to complain. So Ryan Newman back there. He's got brand new tires. We're going to have to see how he does here on this restart. What is this? It's going to be green, 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 white checkered. So we got three laps of racing to do here. 
try and take it a little bit easier. Stay behind Bowman here. I think that's what we need to do. Stay behind somebody and just draft. We're going to let uh, Truex pass to you because he's got the run. Wouldn't mind having the run myself, but we'll let him have it. Getting a push from Kyle Busch there. Ooh, Kyle got a little bit loose going in there. A little bit too much speed. All right, we're riding the car up. Truex is still pushing us, which technically did not help me getting my car back under control. Kyle Busch right there. We're going to try and get up to Bowman here. By the way, Truex, if you want to make it to the end of the race, I would not suggest being around me too much. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest being around me. And there's going to be Truex's race right there. Who hit me? Someone hit me. No caution. Still getting wrecked into, though. We're still wrecking. No caution yet. There it is. Okay. Finally got that finished. Alrighty, trying to figure out what happened here. So ultimately, I got loose. That sent me up the track. So we got that. Ended up getting stuck with everybody else. And then we got... Yeah, Brad Kozlowski sent us into the wall, which ended up keeping us spinning around here. See if we can get a better angle. So here we are spinning around, getting hit. And then you're going to see that nose right there ends up sending us into the wall. That gets us in that loose spin. No way we can recover from that until uh, we can get some damage fixed. So that that's just how that one worked. That's a bummer. I don't know who was into my outside, left side, right side, one of those sides. But they just kept pushing and I didn't have any chance of getting my car back together there. So we're going to come in. We're going to... Go ahead and take some fuel and fix our damage and we'll have brand new tires and look at all that damage that the pit crew was able to magically take care of. I mean, thanks guys. Thanks a lot. That's that's great. Fresh tires compared to the majority of this field though. We're going to try and get to underneath hill here. There we go. To the bottom. Fresh tires. Green, white, checkered in the air. Now let's see what we can do this time. Alex Bowman's still leading. We got fresh tires. Get off of the apron there. That's going to ruin your day, mate. Talk to myself there. We got Balicki. Alright, let's see what speed we can get. If we can get a little bit of draft here. There we go. Ooh, get that draft. Send it into the turn. A little bit too low. Bring it up, 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 up. Got Chastain wrecking. He's going to catch it. Should be good. I need some more draft here, though, for the back stretch. Making up 21st. Need to get up on the banking. Up onto the banking, please. There we go. All right, catch the draft. You got to catch that draft now. Get behind Matt Benedetto. Get some speed. Get some speed. Get some speed. Get some speed. There we go. To the bottom. We're gonna get Bloss blocked by the Joy. Gonna move him up. Johnson's gonna be in our way. Gonna side draft him to the line. And we get 17th. Not a bad recovery after a ginormous wreck where we really had to pit for fuel and tires. Not too bad, so. Decent finish, all things considered. I think that's our same finishing position from Phoenix, but still. Not bad. Alrighty. Well, that was a fun race. I enjoyed that. The car was a lot of fun. Alrighty, guys. Your race winner, Alex Bowman, there. If it had been just a little bit longer, Ryan Newman potentially could have gotten the win. Really close there. But uh, certainly a good finish for Ryan Newman as well. But Alex Bowman gets you gets the win. Not sure if that's his first win this season or not. We're going to have to double check here. But Blaney... Truex, Kavik, Bush, Boyer, Logano, Byron, and Hamelin there in the top 10, all being consistent, unfortunately. And then uh, your top 15 ends up with Cole Custer. Taking a look at the point standings, William Byron is now ahead of us by two, so we need to uh, get some better finishes and get our points lead back. Denny Hamlin 
making a run at that as well, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Kevin Harvick there in fourth. Chase Elliott, Logano, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, Montrex Jr. And then uh, Alex Bowman is now up in the top ten above BJ McLeod with his win. So that's good for him. Looking at your top 16, though, we got BJ McLeod, Ryan Blaney, Matt Kenseth, Clint Boyle, Cole Custer, and Ryan Newman in the 16th spot. So Ryan Newman, with that second-place finish, able to uh, catapult his way uh, further up. But uh, that's a pretty tight battle there for the 16th spot there between Cole Custer, Newman, Kozlowski, uh, and LaJoy there. So all those guys kind of fight for that. None of that position really matters because we're, we're not doing a playoffs, but just for those interested in what the playoff points would entail, uh, that's kind of interesting how that works. We also got some uh, wild card winners here with Brendan Gone down there and Eric Amarota. So that would kind of mix things up as well. Uh, for the uh, if there was a playoffs and William Byron leading the points without winning a race That's interesting. So anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a fun one. I enjoyed it Hopefully you did as well and we're gonna see you guys here next time on the combustion gamer YouTube channel with more NASCAR heat 5 and Florida racing I think we're headed out to Sonoma And it's not green unfortunately, but that would be cool. Anyways. Thanks guys for watching Thanks for watching the Auto Club Speedway race, and we'll see you guys here next time. Bye-bye.